Let's compare this to the original He-Man. So at first glance, they look pretty similar, but when you start looking at the details, you start noticing quite a few things that are different. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Flashback Toys and Collectibles. Today I'm opening up a Masters of the Universe He-Man manufactured by the Super 7 Toy Company and this is the as seen on TV model meaning it kind of resembles the filmation version of He-Man and we'll go through that here in just a few. So this features the Japanese artwork box that would be reminiscent of the He-Man that was originally released in Japan in the 1980s. So down at the bottom here we got He-Man riding Battle Cat on the side we got some more artwork and on the back we got some of that same artwork so i purchased this at big bad toy store for right around 21 dollars and it seems like a pretty fair price but i guess i'll have to open this up to find out if it's actually a good deal or not so let's open this up Alright, so looks like he's wired up to the back of the box here. And taped to the bottom of the box here is the weapons. Okay, so he comes with a couple accessories. A shield. A power sword. This would be a full version of the power sword. And another power sword, but this is the half version. So this is supposed to resemble the filmation version of He-Man. Let's compare this to the original He-Man. So at first glance, they look pretty similar, but when you start looking at the details, you start noticing quite a few things that are different. So the skin tone on this guy is a little bit darker. He's got more of a tan. If we take a close look at the hair, you can see that this hairdo is more similar to what would have been on the cartoon. And as far as the facial features go, those are different as well. And this guy's face is quite a bit shinier. In fact, the whole body is quite a bit shinier. Uh, if we compare the chest armor, he's got the red square dots right here. And he does not have those on this armor here. The wrist armor is painted orange on this guy. And on the original He-Man, it's just the skin tone color. And same thing on this side. The shorts look pretty close to being the same. It's a little bit darker on the new figure here. And then on the boots, you can see that there's more texture on the original figure. On these boots here, it's kind of a smooth finish. And that would have been similar to what was on the cartoon. The articulation seems to be pretty close to the original. The head can swivel. The arms can move around. The legs can move in and out. There's a joint on the inside of the legs right here. There's no band that connects them together like on the original figure. Also on the original figure, you can twist them at the waist and let go for the power punch feature. And on this guy, ah, he does it as well. That's cool. One thing I'm noticing with the armor is it seems like it fits kind of weird. Like it's maybe a little bit oversized. I'm curious if the arms pop off. I don't want to pull too hard and break it, but... Ah, there they go. So they pop off kind of like the original figure, but they are much harder to get off. And the end of this peg right here is a little bit more squared shape than the original. Let's go ahead and pop off an arm on the original He-Man here. So that pops off real easy. So you can see they have a little bit different shape to them. And I might have a pretty hard time getting this arm back on. All right, hope I can get this arm on without too much trouble. Oh, the 
big word of advice. Do not try to take these arms off because you're probably gonna end up breaking the figure. So one thing I'm noticing with the figure is most of the quality on this seems pretty good as far as the materials and the way the joints work. Um, but the plastic on the trunk area here feels a little bit more brittle than the rest of the plastic on this figure for some reason. The level of detail on the face isn't that great when compared to the original figure. If you look up close at all the contours on the face, it's quite a bit softer looking on the new figure. It's not bad on this guy, just not as good as the original for sure. All right, let's try his weapons out here. Here is the half sword. So he holds it, but it is kind of loose. Well, real loose, I guess. Let's try the full sword. That fits in there really nice. Let's try the shield. Looks like it goes over his fingers. Uh, this doesn't fit so great. Yeah, and then it just came apart on me here. So, looks like the quality of the shield's not the greatest. Okay, I got that shield to go on finally, but it was a super tight fit. And I think I scratched the paint on the wrist armor here too, trying to get that on there. So when comparing the muscles, everything looks pretty comparable. The arms appear to be the same size. And the sculpts of the muscles appear to be pretty close as well. So you can see a lot of the same contours on this arm or the same on this one. Now let's take a look at the legs. And they're pretty close to being the same as well. On the Super 7 figure, the feet are slightly bigger, which is usually good because the figure can stand up a little bit better with the bigger feet. And this guy stands up no problem there. Change the pose a little bit here. So he stands pretty good. So as far as the body of this goes, when compared to the original figure, all the muscles and the shapes of them are very, very close. Now, I don't know if they used some of the molds from the original figure to come up with the body on this guy, or if they started from scratch, but whatever they did, they did a pretty good job at matching the original body, plus a few features such as the smooth boots and the armor on the wrist. So here's my overall thoughts with this figure. I think they've done a pretty cool job with this guy and representing the filmation version or as seen on TV version of He-Man. I do like that it has the upgraded leg joints instead of a band. Hopefully those will last for quite a while. And I like that it comes with two swords as well. Um, I do have a couple small complaints with it. Uh, the level of detail on the face I'm not the biggest fan of. And the way this shield fits on this hand I'm not a fan of either. And then some of the plastic, I'm not so sure about how strong it is. So even though I have a few complaints with this guy, I think he's still well worth the money I paid. And it's going to look cool on display next to the rest of my He-Man collection. Okay, it's time for me to go. If you like this video, if you could hit that like button and please subscribe. And have yourself a great day. And I'll see you next time.